The Monty Hall Problem, A Paradox of Probability and Choice The Monty Hall Problem, a classic conundrum in probability theory and psychology, illustrates the counterintuitive nature of probability and decision-making. Named after Monty Hall, the original host of the television game show Let's Make a Deal, this problem has perplexed, intrigued, and divided both the public and the academic community since it rose to prominence. The scenario of the Monty Hall problem is simple yet puzzling. A contestant on a game show is presented with three doors. Behind one door is a valuable prize, typically a car, while the other two doors hide goats. The contestant initially picks one door, say door one. Before revealing what's behind the chosen door, Monty Hall, who knows the contents behind each door, opens another door, say door three, which has a goat behind it. He then offers the contestant a choice, stick with the originally chosen door one or switch to the remaining unopened door two. The crux of the problem lies in deciding which choice gives the contestant a better chance of winning the car. Intuitively, many people assume that each door has an equal probability of concealing the car, suggesting that there is no advantage in switching doors. This initial intuition aligns with the classic interpretation of probability where each event is considered equally likely. However, the Monty Hall problem defies this intuitive reasoning. The solution to the problem, backed by probability theory, reveals that the contestant should always switch doors. When the contestant initially picks a door, there is a one-third chance that the chosen door has the car and a two-thirds chance that the car is behind one of the other two doors. Monty's action of opening a door to reveal a goat is crucial. He will always open a door with a goat, which means that if the car is behind one of the two doors the contestant did not initially choose, he effectively reveals which one it is by opening the other. Therefore, switching doors shifts the probability in the contestant's favor from one-third to two-thirds. The Monty Hall problem's counterintuitive solution has been confirmed through various methods including straightforward probability calculations, computer simulations, and empirical experiments. It serves as a striking example of how human intuition can mislead even in relatively simple probabilistic scenarios, and highlights the importance of rigorous mathematical reasoning in decision-making processes. Moreover, the Monty Hall problem has implications beyond the realm of game shows. It touches upon the broader themes of decision theory, behavioral economics, and the psychology of decision-making. It demonstrates how people's choices can be influenced by their perceptions of probability and risk, and how a deeper understanding of these concepts can lead to more rational decision-making in complex situations. In educational contexts, the Monty Hall problem is often used to teach basic concepts in probability and statistics as well as to encourage critical thinking and challenge assumptions. It serves as a compelling example that not all problems are as straightforward as they appear, and that sometimes, a counterintuitive approach may lead to better outcomes. In summary, the Monty Hall problem, with its simple setup yet profound implications, remains a cornerstone in the study of probability. It serves as a testament to the complexities of probabilistic reasoning and the often surprising nature of mathematical truths. As such, it continues to be a subject of fascination and study, offering valuable lessons in the fields of mathematics, psychology, and decision-making.